Alright, it's Dave Stone again with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills. Now today I'm in South Africa and I want to share with you a really, really cool edible tree that is growing all over this place that most people don't even know is edible. This is the lily pill. Now the lily pill, I've been seeing this tree everywhere and it's a native Australian tree. And look at this, these are the white little flowers that it has um, and the bees love them, the pollinators really love this tree. But the best part about this tree is the fruit. Now these are lily pillies. These are small little berries. And inside, now they're edible. There's a lot of nutritional value to these things. Now inside, now this is more of a rye berry, which is similar to a lily pilly, but this one doesn't have as big of a pit. Actually, there was no pit in that one at all. But they're very high in vitamin C, and mm, this one has a pit right there. So this is this is the lily pilly tree. Now I'm going to tell you a few of the facts about this tree. You know you can get a lot of good nutritional value that you never that you never would have got before. Now this has a little bit of a bitter taste to it, but it's not a bad bitter. It's kind of sweet, mildly sweet, a little bit. Now I want to tell you a little bit of the facts about uh, the lily pilly fruit. So there's 50 different species of lily pilly um, and they vary in size, color, flavor. It's an Australian tree and it was used by the Aborigines as an antibacterial. Um, it's super rich in vitamin C. It's, uh, it's got good astringent properties so it's really good for your skin. Now you can, you can make jam, you can make sauces, you can make syrups. You, it's loaded with essential oils. You can add it to salads or ice cream. Uh, make you add it to salsas. You can even make a little rub for some meat. Now this is a, a a plant that's grown for its edible fruit, but also people use it a lot for hedges. And a lot of people that have it and grow it in Australia don't even eat it. They don't even know it's edible, but they use it as a hedge, which it's fine too. It produces oxygen. So it's it's called the lily pilly, but it's also called the rye berry. And there's a handful of other names that people people call it. Now it's grown in volcanic soils and with some sand and some loam in them. So basically, this is just a, a very uh, amazing tree that I wanted to introduce you guys to because it's something that I've never heard of before and I see it all over here in uh, South Africa. And it's a native Australian tree, so it's something that I want you guys to learn more about uh, fruits from all over the world that grow naturally and wild. All right, so this is where I'm parking my car uh, at the place I'm staying in South Africa. And that's my little rental car right there. And we're driving on the left hand side of the road here which is when you make a right turn it's got to be a wide right remember wide right <laughs> anyways uh that's my car but this is another lily pilly now that guy's pretty big i mean let's see 10 20 uh probably 30 feet tall so 10 meters got to calculate now that i'm here in south africa you can see on the ground here berries are everywhere and you can see on my car they're, they're on the top of the car here too. Now there's actually little spots all over my car because they are so juicy that when they fall, they squirt. That's all fruit. That's all edible fruit. And I guarantee you it's kind of like the olives over in Phoenix. Everybody thinks they're a nuisance. You spray the olive tree with poison so it doesn't produce food. God gives us these trees that produce all this food for us. And what do we do? spray it with poison so it doesn't drop the fruit so we don't have to clean it up. Instead, why don't we cure these olives? Why don't we make jam, jelly, good stuff out of these rye berries or lily pilly fruits. Now I really enjoy the name lily pilly, so I would, I would ask you to say that word a handful of times. Lily pilly, lily pilly, lily pilly. <laughs> It's cooler than ryeberry, but ryeberry is actually pretty cool too. So this is another tree, a lily pilly tree native to Australia. It's a beautiful, beautiful tree. People use it for hedges, but it's very edible and extremely nutritious. And I'm gonna put my coffee down and I'm gonna eat a few more. I'm gonna see how this tree tastes. Whoa, they, they're, see now these are super ripe when they're just falling right up. You just touch them, boop. Fall right off the tree. Here they are, uh-oh. Now these ones are a light pink. I wonder if they're going to taste a little sweeter. Pretty 
pretty good. Now this pit actually wasn't as hard as the other ones. Got a little green in it. Oop, there you go, focus, baby. Um, it's definitely bitter. Pit. But they have a very mild, sweet taste to them. I'm going to pick a whole bunch and dry them out. See how the dry lily pillies taste. So until next time, I'm going to figure out a way to plant some of these bad boys at my Stonehaven farm. Now here's a handful of the lily pillies. You can see some of them are very, they're clean like that guy. And some of them are a little bit old. Uh, but this is what they look like. And the, the leaves are very like a waxy green. And there's some new fruits still coming in right there. So this tree just continually produces. So here they are. Mm. Such a mild flavor. It kind of tastes like a flower. I really want to make some wine out of these. Mm. I think that would be a good wine. But it has this uh, little bit of a sour, like a sweet tart. It's kind of the texture of a watermelon. It has a fluffy texture when you're eating it. Kind of hear the squish. Yeah, like a snow cone. Maybe a little bit like the Peruvian apple cactus fruit. But, and there's a little pit. So, always save your seeds plant them. All right, guys. Well, you have an excellent day. Don't forget to hit, hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more awesome videos from Develop Awesome Skills. So I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.